Oh, hello, ladies and gentlemen. Good evening or good day to everyone who's watching and a welcome to this stream. Uh, it's a Red Dead Online stream. Another, you know, part of the series of leveling up from level 1 to level 100. I created a new character for this series and anyway... I think now it's it's time to purchase a new role, a Moonshiner. I was actually waiting until the collector roll month to buy a collector with a discount, but it's it's still not here. So I, I decided to, to do this. I have like 32 gold bars, so I will buy Moonshiner for 25 gold bars. And I think until the next month I will have uh, like enough gold to buy a collector especially if there will be a discount so like let's go and buy moonshiner it's one of my favorite roles it has a pretty cool uh, short story you know five missions but anyway so hello and welcome to everyone second life captain yellow eddie uh tbr donut do don'ts mark daniel m and Tato, what role is this month? Tato is asking. Well, that's the thing. This month there are no role discounts, or bonuses, or anything like that. Because there are bonuses for call to arms. I'm, I'm calling the name bo uh, main bonuses call to arms, telegram missions, stranger missions, uh, and land of opportunities. Right. Kari UK, hello. Jared says good morning. Yeah, no likes, no leveling up Moonshiner. Anyway, so to buy a Moonshiner role, I obviously have to go to uh, and find my game. She is she is at Emerald Ranch. Like, uh, like usually. You have to reach level 5 in a trader role. By the way, let's check the trader role first. And also, I think, uh, yeah, I need to pick up ammo because I was in, in Call to Arms. An another way to purchase collector role, uh, not collector, but moonshine role, is to pay 5 extra gold bars. I don't know if too many people are using it. Oops. Looks like... Oops. <laughs> okay. It was a trap. Oh, nice. Yeah, but I, but I already reached level 5 and then tried the roll, so let's go and buy it. I like Moonshine roll mostly because it has... Uh, not mostly. First of all, because it's almost a passive income in Red Dead Online, especially after you will level it up. Uh, but also because it has a small story, which in my opinion is better than Land of Opportunities story. And not only because Land of Opportunities is unfinished. Let's feed the horse. And hello guys, hello to everyone who joins, and thanks to everyone who placed the like already. And as always, thanks to everyone who supports my channel on YouTube, Patreon, or YouTube Super Chat. Feed the horse, I just did. Just, just did. Okay, so getting ready for collector roll month. Actually, you know what? I, I, I have 36 gold bars after that call to arms a few days ago. So, even if it's like gonna be a uh, collector roll month, like to, to. Okay, I'm not gonna say that because people will start asking, like, oh, so it's gonna be tomorrow. I mean, even if. I will just spend this money on Moonshine roll. I will still have 11 gold bars, so I will buy collector anyway. Okay, let's go and check the cutscene. Let me actually turn on the music. 
so you can hear all the lines from Crips and Megim. Okay, so hope it's not gonna be too loud. So yeah, let's go. This scene is also pretty cool. You must be Crips' friend. No, I'm not. I don't even like Try him. Try not to hold that against you. Your name's Maggie. Thanks for coming. She's back. You're welcome. Jesus, what are you doing? It's me. <laughs> what the hell? I missed, didn't I? Don't come in like a bull through the fence next time, you old fool. <laughs> a friend here managed to get it right. Lightning Maggie Fike. We all thought you were dead. Yeah, so did I. Guess you'll be wanting a drink. Oh, come yeah. on, give me a hand. Biggest mistake of my life, not marrying this woman when I had the chance. Yeah, you always did have a colorful memory of things. <laughs> anyway, it's too late now. As you can no see, I have gone it. and hit my prime. Well, I heard what happened with Hickson. Oh. Evil son of a bitch. Where you, uh, where you been all this time? Recovering. Lying low. Couldn't barely get out of bed for six months. And your nephew? Them. Still in jail, as far as I know. Uh, you seen Danny Lee yet? Oh, yeah, I've seen him. Cooking for the Braithwaites now. Guess me and him were done. Well, there's always Marcel. Heard he's not working for Leclerc anymore. Well, there's a windbag, but he knows his way around still. Yeah, maybe. Feels like it'd be much easier for everyone if I just stayed gone. Mm. But life ain't about being easy. I am taking back what's mm. mine. Mm. I need legs, though, and I need muscle. Oh, you'll get that one, this one, and more, I promise you. Two of us already got a nice little business going. As long as you know, it won't be pretty. I don't do pretty. Okay, I'm ready. So, uh, what's the Let's mind? go. First things first, I need a cookhouse. What's wrong with this place? Been empty for a while now. No, I need a good basement. I reckon I could try and get one of my old spots back up and running. The bastard seized them all after the raid. Okay, usually I'm buying I a moonshine shack in Saint Denis. So, what you say? Believe me, nobody knows more about moonshine than Maggie. I mean, in Bayou Noir. You'll make that back in um, Come on, the two of you were made for each other. Let's choose something different this time. Hotlands. Hotlands is a pretty decent one, but there is like pretty long delivery to one horn. Let's go for Hotlands. I like uh, that area. Let's go. I mean, in Bio and is a little bit better in my I opinion, think. but partners, it is. You meet me back there when you can. We'll work out what else it is we need when we get set up. Uh, can I offer you a ride, Miss Fike? Suppose so. Well, maybe we can stop for a drink on the way. Captain Yell says, "I realized no, in that no, cutscene no, no, your character is sure. very hot, Cat. Oh, it was not my character. It was a creeps." <laughs> Not my character. My character is is like uh, this uh, woman. I'm just kidding. Okay. So, moonshine operation has been. Oh, now we have to go to the moonshine check and check like. You no, know, Maggie will. I, okay, I remember this. Maggie will give us. Uh, two missions first to save her nephew and second to save Marcel I think oh no not even to save her nephew first one to save Marcel and second one to steal some equipment silly question Whitney asks uh, uh, it's it's a quoting and I don't think that this question is silly I haven't read it yet silly question can doing the Etta Doyle glitch a lot you get banned? Or well, it is just considered a mess up from Rockstar and they won't notice? I mean, this glitch... I mean, first of all, we're not even sure if it's a glitch. It's just how this mission works. It's, it's not glitch, it's a lame design game mechanic. So, uh, first of all, this mission was in the game for... Four years? No. 
more four and a half years and no one ever was banned for this like first of all second uh it's literally you're doing literally what npc tells you in a cutscene and and the most importantly over these four and a half years <laughs> rockstar had so many chances to fix it if it's a glitch or a bug but anyway the main reason why you're not gonna get banned for this is not even this the main reason is they don't ban people who use cheats and mod menus on pc okay they don't ban people who abuse glitch with lake as a battle isabella no one was banned so far and you really think they will ban someone for playing some mission a little bit differently uh, angry Aussie makes a good point Roxer has no glitch it, it has features so yeah Whitney it's like just not gonna happen safety zoom says it's ridiculously tedious to exploit and i'm sure they know it yeah it's another reason you see when someone is doing isabella glitch for example this person gets a lot of gold extremely fast experience gold money uh, and Rockstar don't care. When someone plays at the Doyle mission, like, payout is literally the same as if you will do this mission in any other way. So what's the point for Rockstar to ban anyone? Like, there is not a single reason. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, it's a good way to grind a little bit uh, AFK, basically. So why would they care? AFK farm is fun? No. And uh, that's literally what Rockstar wants from missions in Red Dead Online. They should be not fun. So it's a perfect mission from Rockstar's point of view. I wanna execute him. Oh, why? I thought it's gonna be a cool execution, but instead I guess I press some different button wrong button and it was just a knockout okay there is no reason to waste time in this oh sorry marcel D don't stay here chester does says cat maybe roxar is ricky martin she bans but that's the thing roxar don't ban anyone like they made this ban wave uh when it was in november i guess and the funny thing is, they banned a lot of innocent players, like literally for nothing. Not even for using any glitches, just for nothing. And uh, didn't, did not ban any, uh, not any, I don't know, maybe they banned some mod menu users occasionally. But most mod menu users were not banned with this uh, ban wave. <laughs> so, it was so bad that Rockstar actually, for the first time ever, lifted all these bans. So, so you know, they don't even ban anyone. Does Isabella glitch still work? From what I know, they haven't fixed it in the last patch, so I guess so. Wally says they banned people that took the modders money, but not the actual modders themselves That's the thing they banned random players not even people who took money from modded chests No, they just banned randomly There was a case where they banned a player who played for 40 minutes Just created a character play for 40 minutes and received the ban so, uh, which is kind of good because he simply, uh, you know, refunded the game. Oh, 
Okay, there is a random encounter inside of this mission, so we need to... Wait, 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 don't go anywhere. I need an arrow. Presumably they were bot banning. Yeah, they definitely use some form of uh, bot. To, I wanted to say AI, but definitely that was not AI. <laughs> you know, because the bans were random. And the fact that they uh, removed these bans is telling us a lot. Is your main account 1000 yet? No, it's level 420 something. I don't really grind too much from this account. I do some, like, stuff. Uh oh, he just fell off the horse. Uh, so I do some stuff like uh, that. Usually don't bring too much experience, like dragon sleeping alligators. Okay, so we completed it and received 300 experience. So now the second part of this. Get equipment. Okay then. We're gonna need supplies and equipment. So we can set up the still and get started. Okay, did you watch football last night? You bet I did. Which match? I w actually it was super super not not an easy choice, really. Really was thinking about it for a lot, but mostly I was watching Real. Uh, Man City, but I was like, you know, switching channel to Bayern sometimes. It's just like one of the reasons when Bayern uh, scored the second goal, I thought that it's there is like more or less obvious who's gonna go to the next stage. Arthur says, which moon, I guess it's which, which moonshine place you bought? I decided to take uh, Heartland's location. I, I think Bion Y is the best one, but like for the sake of this playthrough, I decided to do something different. Okay, shotgun time. Bam. What? Bam. Oh, yeah, I have to steal it. Exis says, as a new player, I just want 60 FPS on PlayStation 5. Well, I will tell you what, uh, not only new players want 60 FPS on next-gen consoles. Or should I say current-gen consoles. Everyone wants that, so yeah. Telegram missions have triple mania right now. You can do strong medicine easily using a stealth guide. I can because I, I made this guide. <laughs> so yeah, I, I can do it. King of balls. Thank you. I'm, I'm familiar with that guide. Sam Davenport says, can I create a second Red Dead Online character on my second Xbox account? Yes, you can to do it on second Xbox account. Or create a third character on your third account. Okay, I'll just kill them because like, they ban. I have three different characters on Xbox on three different accounts and I mean possible to make more okay what I'm not sure why I removed the weapon do you watch your guides I kind of remember actually I'm not sure if I remember how to do this mission anymore but I think I can figure out I just want to make sure it will not affect my main account. No, it, it will not.
if you're asking about creating a second account. Have you noticed that it's easier to find legendaries since the huge patch fix? Uh, no, because mostly I was playing uh, with this new character or doing some missions. When I was playing on Xbox, I was not playing in a free roam too much after the patch. So, and for these characters, uh, for this new character, I cannot find legendary animals yet because I don't have naturalist troll. And when you don't have naturalist troll, legendary animals will just not spawn for you. But uh, it, it is possible. I mean, they made some fixes and even, you know, I would even say effective. Bam. Vlad says, hey cat, you stop posting on your Russian YouTube and what would lo why would you stop posting on the Russian YouTube? And what would you like to see in, oh, sorry. See in, in two. There is just, the problem with chat is that there is a big heart emote that I apparently can press or something. Uh, and it closes some part of a patch. In RDR2 in the possible future. Well, in RDR2 in the possible future, I want to see next gen version. Okay, so we completed. Next gen version because it's uh, it's gonna be not only 60 FPS but possibly a new content for both story and online. You know, don't shoot the horses. I try, I try, but there is no, uh, you know, the uh, Harriet is not is not here yet. I haven't bought this role, so I don't have to be afraid to be s that I will get sprayed or something. 68 likes, thanks to everyone who placed the like. Mini Blues, hi there. Oh, ingredients. I don't think I even have ingredients on this account. I mean, I was not collecting fruits and, and, and berries, stuff like that. We'll have to collect something, because I, I, don't, I don't even know if I can make some uh, flavors for, for Moonshine. We'll see. Mini Blue says, crazy glitch in Valentine's Saloon last night, NPCs jumping all over. Well, maybe again, maybe it's because of uh, the previous title update, just like the flying horses. I mean, I have, like, for the first time ever, I saw an NPC jumping off the roof in uh, Call to Arms, <laughs> so... Okay, reaching rank 59. And I guess I have to go go back again to the shock and set up production, right? He's not ready. Yeah, speak to Marcel to begin producing moonshine, or speak to Maggie to reduce the cost of production. Cost of production is reduced by um, completing story. They fix tables and now there are other glitches. Well, it's it always like that, but I, I must admit it's actually it's actually a good patch. Oh, nice! I can at to create at least some flavor. It's good because you know, for adding flavor, you get additional moonshiner experience. C100 experience. Joe Dropper says, dropped by to say hello from Thailand. Hello there. Okay, guys, let's com start. Uh, I don't know, should we complete a bootlegger mission? It's If I remember correctly, completing bootlegger missions, they uh, decrease the price of a mash. Next. 
time maybe not I usually was ignoring it let's try to complete it okay I'm told our competitors have been running their mouth Berko says hello cat hello there King of Balls says, I started a new account, what should my first role be? Choose between Collector and Bounty Hunter. Maybe Bounty Hunter is better choice this month, because next month I still think that there should be a Collector role month, so there will be bonus on it next month. But usually, you know, the, uh, the choice first role choice is the choice between bounty hunter and collector if you like shooting more choose bounty hunter if you like just you know traveling around the map like immersive activities choose collector Tafia says yes they decrease the price of the match to $30 Yeah, so they are not necessary, but I'm completing this mission simply to receive some uh, some Moonshine roll experience. Next month bonus will be on races. Yeah, it's the most useless bonus. Like if you if you think about. So one mission decreases the price for twenty dollars, and they stuck. Okay, what do I need to go? But it's like, uh, I have to travel all across the map for this mission. Like, are you kidding me? All that for $20 discount. <laughs> That's so pointless. Captain Yellow says, uh, next month, Cat will be returned the Outlaw Passes. Store your golds. Yeah. That's what gonna happen. Will Rockstar start updating Red Dead Online after GTA 6? I don't think that they will. <clears throat> I mean, the only the only possi you know the only scenario in which they will start updating Red Dead Online is if they will release next gen version of Red Dead Redemption 2. Because you see, some people say like. Oh, after GTA 6, they will have so many people uh, to relocate back to Red Dead Online and create a new content. But no, after GTA 6, they will be working on GTA 6, on PC port, on GTA 6 Online, on, on all that stuff. So... If there is a team right now, someone who's working not on GTA 6, but on next-gen version of Red Dead Redemption 2, well, then it's possible that next they will go back to Red Dead Online. Safety Zoom says, next recycled Outlaw Pass will probably be in July. Like, why, why do you think so? Like, what do you mean next? There was no recycled uh, Outlaw Passes in this game ever, except for Halloween Pass 2. That was added three times in a row. Is any dates for GTA 6? No, we only... Rocks are only told us uh, the year, 2025. Oh, it's, it's, it's even worse. It's a stealth mission. <clears throat> let's try to complete... I'm not sure if I have enough time to complete it in stealth, but let's try. <laughs> yeah, Taffy, Taffy is right, actually. That it's probably gonna be Halloween Pass 2, Act 4. I mean, it would, like, if it will happen, it would be so pathetic from Rockstar to add the same event and the same Outlaw Pass three years in a row.
Stealth is tricky. I don't see that guard. Vanilla flowers grow on trees in the swamps. Yes, they do. Okay, good. We completed it in stealth, I assume. So, how do we enter this building? Without setting up an alarm. Can we kill him through the window? Oh no. Ah! <laughs> I completed it. Why I decided to kill him through the window? Why? Where is a moonshine? And I mean, I uh, there was no need to kill him at all. That was weird. And completely unnecessary. Okay, you know what? Let's loot them. Because by looting uh, NPCs in these missions, quite often it's possible to find different ingredients for moonshine. Okay. Like, yeah, you see I found Blackberry. I don't even remember if you get a, any money for this mission. Yeah, you see another blackberry, so nice. Like another reason, apple. Uh, apparently these moonshiners, they love fruits. Maybe you know what, maybe they are vegans. Okay. I completed this mission. But I don't see any payout, so uh, I'm not quite sure even how much experience I received. Let, let's check, you know what? No, wrong button. Let's check progress. On a moonshiner roll. Well, I, I guess I received some experience, because now I have 1000 experience. But not sure how much. And the problem is, now I have to somehow get back to the moonshine shack. John Cena payout. Well, yes, exactly. Do you think GTA 6 is going to give importance to crafting and food like Red Dead Online? Uh, I, I think... Crafting, yes, probably food as well, but uh, crafting will be different from Red Dead Online. I think it will be... I, I, I think they will make crafting weapon, weapon crafting system. We will see. Will collector roll be double money uh, next month? I hope it will. Because, I mean, I was expecting this month to be a month of a collector roll, but it's a different month. If It's a month of uh, useless bonuses and free fast travel. Free fast travel is good. Rest bonuses are not so good.
Actually, you don't need to take bootlegger missions from Maggie because when you are in a solo lobby, free roam missions spawns all the time. I was curious how much experience I will receive, but I haven't noticed it, so I don't know. Cat, will we uh, will we get beans in Red De in GTA 6? Yeah, for sure. Not in GTA 6, but in GTA 6 Online. It will be like the main currency it will be like capitale let's go uh, let's go and complete a story mission the problem with story mission is that if i remember correctly when you complete the story mission your moonshine production stops but let's uh let's test it maybe i remember wrong <clears throat> GTA 6 gonna have loot boxes. I don't know about that. I'm not sure if it if it's gonna have loot boxes. So anyway, now you see we have like eight. Crypto beans for main currency. And you know what? Like few years ago there were rumors that GTA 6 will have crypto currency, like real cryptocurrency but in gta 6 like you know real world crypto but then all these yeah, nfts became less NFT. popular maybe you know maybe in the form of nft or maybe even in the form of a real uh crypto token something but anyway uh, and now i don't think it's gonna happen GTA 6 Bitcoin is unlikely, especially since, you know, Strauss Zelnik is uh, a little bit old-fashioned, especially when talking about all these new technologies and games, so... Good with Would be nice to have restaurants in GTA 6 with different foods to try. Well, if you if you noticed how detailed saloons are in Red Dead Redemption, like how NPCs are eating food, I'm telling you there will be an even better system in, in GTA 6. Different food, uh, NPCs eating it, really. Actually, speaking about GTA 6, my only concern is uh, the story. Like, if it's gonna be good. Like, story characters. And as for technical... From technical point of view, I'm pretty sure that GTA 6 will be a masterpiece. Because, I mean, take a look at Red Dead Redemption 2. And since then, they had so much time to develop all the mechanics, to improve them. They had so many resources that from uh, like a technical point of view, GTA 6 will be just, wow, should be, should be. Artistic Mass says Beans Plus. Beans Plus is, a, it should be, that's how unique subscription for Red Dead Online should be called. You you pay uh, six dollars per month, five ninety nine, and you receive beans every week. And Outlaw Pass five. But not all items from Outlaw Pass five, but only hay. B beard. I will try to kill as many of them as I can in a stealth. Oh, by the way, I need to... Let's... You know what? Let's... Let's start the timer to check the payout. I mean, I've been for like a minute in this mission. But let's start. Captain Yellow thinks that story will be lame like B-class action Hollywood movie. I don't know. I mean... It's... It might be lame as a not the best A-class Hollywood movie, but I don't think that it's gonna be like completely bad. 
And actually, I think that it's it should be decent, but we will see. And in any way, it's my concern. Okay, killing them all, looting them, no need to hurry. Hello from Bulgaria, cat. Hello there. They shouldn't give out beans for beans plus. Only a di Oh, yeah, it's, it's even better idea to give only a discount on beans. Okay, let's let's steal this hat and pretend that I'm a I'm a low man or low woman, should I say? Since Red Dead Online set in 1899, maybe it should be called has -beans. <laughs> Hello from Denmark, Tommy says. Hello there. And yeah, guys, hello to everyone who joined the stream. And thanks to everyone who placed a like already. Chilling. Low lady. Yeah, probably it's, it's, it's better. Okay, so I, I don't think I should even... Set this dude free. Yeah, because it's not like he's giving any valuable information. Do you get anything good for Red Dead Online if you subscribe for GTA Plus? No, you don't get anything at all. Okay, why this dude is not running away and does nothing, I don't know. Uh, like, you get bonuses for GTA Online. You get GTA 3 Definitive Edition. And you get Red Dead Redemption 1 f uh, for Xbox or PlayStation 5. But that's it. And yeah, uh, rocks are promised to add LA Noir and Bully to GTA Plus subscription as well. But it's gonna happen later, like uh, somewhere in summer. Axis says it's crazy that GTA 5 was made 10 years ago, over 10 years ago. Only got into Red Dead and Red Dead because of my girlfriend, and the quality difference between Red Dead Redemption and GTA is pretty huge. Yeah, I mean, like that's what I don't like in GTA Online uh, is shooting mechanic, like fighting combat mechanics. Comparing to Red Dead Online, they feel so outdated. Rockstar will push subscription mod model hard for GTA 6. For sure, I mean, that's the reason why they made this subscription. They made it for GTA 6 and now they're just simply testing stuff, you know. But GTA Plus was made specifically for GTA, uh, for GTA 6 and that's why it's called GTA Plus, not Rockstar Plus, but GTA Plus and Rockstar are not gonna change it, it's for GTA 6. Everything that happens right now is like a beta test. Uh, I'm not quite sure where these riders decided to go. Hey guys, I'm here. Well, <laughs> they're definitely running in a different direction. Okay, it's not cool. I, I This mission is really weird because quite often guards, they just ride away. 
And you, because you, to complete this mission, you need to kill them. You need to chase them. Like, where are they? Oh, here they are. Yeah, like, the best idea to go there. Oh, no! <laughs> it's so stupid. And I mean... And you uh, and 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 viewers are asking, will Rockstar ban for you know completing at the Doyle uh, in a specific way? Okay, now I have to go back to the wagon. But I mean, speaking about adding uh, bonuses for Red Dead Online into GTA Plus subscription. I actually think that at some point, that maybe it's their plan. Maybe that's why they actually decided to release this title update and uh, fix Red Dead Online. Fix at least the most annoying and famous glitches. Like a stable glitch. And uh, so their plan is to add Red Dead Online standalone to the subscription, give it for free, and then add some bonuses for Red Dead Online as well into GTA Plus subscription. So, I don't know, maybe an outlaw pa old outlaw pass every few months. Or, or something. Or maybe just you know, pointless bonuses and discounts. But I, I mean, I just think so because, like, why they they are not returning to uh, returning all the low passes to the game yet? Like, it's such an easy way to make some additional money for them. Just bring back all the outlaw bosses. Okay. So that I think they're waiting for something, but for what? I don't know. There are a lot of enemies in this mission. It almost feels like call to arms. Wow, even more. How many revenue agents do they have? Let me loot any everyone. And more. One more left. Okay, actually mission will not stop after I will kill them. I will have to also deliver a lamb to a moonshine shack. So I have time to loot. Reven, you are just hired some new guys. Yeah, and a lot of them. Ask lamb to follow you. Wait a second, I need to loot everyone maybe i will find some collectible items actually from my experience uh it seems like collectible items can be found in revenue agents more often than in regular npcs so lamb follow me
Yes, I know where she is. Let's go. Lamb. Another bug. <laughs> Not again. Lamb. He decided just to see that instead of actually following me. I love Moonshine or story, especially the boat mission. Yeah. Bot mission used to be uh, the best, you know, sniper rifle practice before Rockstar added call to arms. It's a feature, says Angry Horsey, kinda. Actually, let's take a look if Moonshine or Shack is even on the map. It is on the map, but it has different icons, so I think Moonshine production was stopped. And you know what's weird about Moonshine or story? There are cooldowns. I'm not kidding. It's like the stupidest idea ever. Why would you add cooldowns on story missions? No one will grind these missions for money or experience. It's like... Like, like watching a TV series. Adagorn, thank you for super chat. Let's place a like. Adagorn says, I haven't been able to play Red Dead Online in a while because I've been away from, so watching you play is nice. Uh, well, I mean, there is nothing new, unfortunately, but still, it's, it's I like playing Red Dead Online time to time, so yeah, hopefully you will be able to play it as well soon. And yeah, meanwhile, you can watch and it's like pretty much the same as playing, to be honest. <laughs> because, you know, the biggest thing about Red Dead Online's uh, gameplay is that it's like just just immersive is just something you do like to relax it, at least i do hey cat what do you think about the star wars outlaws trailer i enjoyed the trailer i enjoyed the first trailer but when i saw uh, okay actually we have to stop the timer because it's it was uh, like 15 minutes or so when i saw prices at first i was like what and then i was like oh it's a ubisoft i forgot that outlaws uh star wars outlaws is made by ubisoft well it makes total sense because there is a battle pass for a single player game there are like uh pretty expensive ultimate edition ultimate and uh, just improved edition and and stuff like that like base price for the game is fine but like rest is like typical ubisoft stuff go down and grab yourself a drink make sure you get an extra cut out of my side of the business you it. Okay, let's check the payout this time. Because it was... I'm not quite sure if it, it was something between 14 and 15 minutes. Next time I will. 300 experience, 19 dollars. What? Where is the gold? So wait, uh, the re they don't pay gold for Moonshine or Story missions? I for yeah, as you can see, uh, production stops for the time of a mission. I I was pretty sure that they are like uh, opportunity, land of opportunities, that you get money, gold, and experience. Maybe I forgot this, but. And as you can see, 
No moonshine nor story missions available. You know what it means? It means they have a cooldown. And if I remember, like 48 minutes cooldown. I mean, maybe it's for the first mission you don't get gold. Or maybe I just missed the moment. You know, sometimes you receive a, a reward, but it's not shown on, on the screen. Like, for example, when you sell uh, samples to, Mad uh, to, to Madam, I <laughs> wanted, wanted to say to Madam Nazar, but it's Madam Harriet. Uh, anyway, when, she, when you sell animal samples to Harriet, it gives you experience, but it's not showing on the screen. Cat, are you okay with streamers as long as they don't grief you? You mean stream snipers? I'm absolutely fine, but there will be no stream snipers on PC. I mean, uh, like, when I used to play on Xbox, I didn't even care too much about stream snipers who grief me, uh, who attack me, but, you know, for for something like level 1 to level 100 leveling up process, having stream snipers is, like, really annoying, so I decided to make it on PC. Emily says, Rockstar should really let us get on a board to gamble, even if they have to charge 100 per boarding. They should. And I mean, again, it's like a, it's, a, it's a wishful thinking slash conspiracy theory, but think about it. Why they even decided to remove casino board from the game to deny access? Because like previously, like if you don't know, Casino Bot is here. And previously you could get there. So Rockstar changed it. But still there was a glitch. Not, a, not even a glitch, it's again how, the, how it worked. That you can go to Legendary Bounty Mission, Cecil C. Tucker, and still get there. And you know what Rockstar did? They added a black screen area around... Uh, casino bot on purpose fixed that glitch so why the obvious answer is that they have some plans for this yeah okay three room missions even with triple payout are not any good but let's complete one paid killing is kind of fun Moonshine story missions are nostalgic. Yeah, I really enjoyed the Moonshine story when I first played it. I mean, I wish there were more stuff like that in Red Dead Online. Updates like that. You know, update with a small story, with new mechanic. Even five missions is, is good enough. Even, you know, without many cutscenes, it should be fine. Okay, I choose to complete uh, Stranger Mission because when you complete in Stranger Missions, Moonshine Production. Where is my Moonshine Camp? It should be here. I mean, production should be going. But anyway, I mean, it was the only reason why I decided to choose Stranger Mission. It's because. Like both Moonshiner and Trader World production should be, uh, you know, going during these missions. But I, I hope it does. Hey Joe, he's creepy. Don't worry, he he dies. Actually, not really soon because he dies in uh, like eight years from events of Red Dead Online, even nine years. Because he dies in epilogue, which is eight, nine years from events of Red Dead Online. Spoiler alert! <laughs> yeah. yeah. 
Smile says, if you want protection from modders, report, laugh emote, block, change server. Oh, I have bad news for you. None of the things that you just mentioned <laughs> really works. Except for changing server and that is not working as well if you are a streamer because they will simply follow you. Oh, he was here. <laughs> he was sitting here. One. Two. Whoops. Go away. Oh no. That one is running. Don't let him run. Ah, he's running in a wood. I cannot shoot him. Boom. Easy. Boom. Okay, payout for this mission will be uh, like pathetic because if I will kill this dude now, mission will end. So yeah, even with triple money and experience, I will receive triple nothing. Seventy-five experience and three dollars. How do you like that? Triple payouts. Easy, <laughs> easy money. <laughs> oh, Stranger Missions is so lame. What weapon? Okay, so now I, I guess I received some. Oh yes, I received some award that I can reset. What weapons would you recommend using in a high level? So I hate. I have everything that's not limited. Carcano um, rifle. All you really need is Carcano rifle for both PvP, PvE, like anything. Okay, another reward to reset. <laughs> And then, like, uh, you know, you make, you make a setup, ability card and weapon setup, like, depending on a situation. But Kirkano Rifle is a must for pretty much everything. Wait, Carl. Wait. I'm not even sure if like Moonshiner was still working, Moonshiner production was still working while I was in this mission. Let's go and check if I need to resupply or something. Let's place a camp somewhere nearby. What did you spend your gold on? On a Moonshiner roll. I decided to buy a Moonshiner roll. But I mean, I already have tw 12 gold bars. And uh, so I will have enough gold to purchase collector. Even with dis without discount. I still think there will be discount. But even if there will be no discount again. If Rockstar will decide to make... Uh, uh, lame monthly event third time in a row and there will be a bonus for I don't know horse races or something like that still I have enough gold I prefer rolling block rifle I mean it's up to you but it's just Kirkano is much better than rolling block rifle well, if you insist. I insist he said it's it's I'm I'm replying to creeps.
Okay, so while moonshine is still producing, let's go and find the treasure map. Get when will console get 60 FPS? Okay, it's only my prediction, obviously, but I think that this year. It's based on, not on official information, but, uh, okay, no, no, you know what, no. It's like a, it's like a puzzle of missing information, of uh, hidden from us information. And there are different pieces of this puzzle, and all they, they together are telling me that it's likely that Rockstar will release next-gen version of Red Dead Redemption 2 and will do it before release of GTA 6. So probably this year. But there is one, one piece missing in this puzzle yet and probably the most important. When it will change, I will make a video about all this puzzle, about my crazy theory, and you will see. But one... And it's not official announced from Rockstar. <laughs> no, not like that. Do you think that this game will have any new content when they release new gen version? If they will release new gen version, then yes, for sure. As you know, as one of the selling points for next gen version, there will be some content for Red Dead Online to bring more attention, basically. So let's go to Strawberry. Fast travel is free. Could Xbox Series X run Red Dead Redemption 2 at 4K 60 FPS? Uh, I don't think so. At 4K 60 FPS, probably no. Or maybe it can. Okay, let's go. Oh, oh! It's a trap! Oops, it's not even a... It's not even an enemy. Okay, I killed them all. Nice. Rank 60, not bad. <clears throat> Still quite a lot of uh, experience to be earned to reach level 100. I was planning, like when I only started this series, I was planning to reach level 100 in around uh, 20 to 25 streams. But I thought that there will be collector roll month with double experience for collector soon. Because you know when there will be collector roll month I will earn more experience. I will be earning more experience than now. Clown is saying, honestly I don't mind the graphics and FPS we have now. Well, 60 FPS would be really nice. I mean, when you play on PC and then you switch to Xbox uh, X, which have 30 FPS only, 
the difference is really noticeable. Especially when, like... Like, when you play Red Dead Redemption Story, it's more or less fine, because it's more cinematographic and a lot of cutscenes that actually look better in my opinion not better but like make more sense in 30 fps they have this uh, cinema feeling uh oh what kind of event is this oh no i will not sorry lady i'm here for for a treasure but when you fight in it, it it's literally a big difference fighting in 60 fps and fighting in 30 fps so in red dead online this difference is even more noticeable maybe it would need a downgrade to 1080 to get 60 fps well i'm pretty sure they can get uh, 60 fps in 2k resolution even now without even making like a uh, next gen version if they will just unlock fps they can get in both 60 uh, in both full hd and uh, 2k <laughs> but like y y if there will be next gen version it's possible that there will be like good settings uh 60 fps uh no no good setting good graphic settings like good graphics and 30 fps in 4k or 60 fps and some decrease in graphics you know traditional two modes of graphics i mean i don't think uh that playstation 5 can run red Dead redemption 2 with 4k 60 fps and improvements in graphics because that was the question like lightning and stuff like that i don't think it's possible there will be like a choice what should i buy with gold bars because i have every roll that's the thing once you have every roll you don't really need gold bars to be honest especially after rockstar uh, removed outlaw passes from the game like what would you spend it on to make your weapons golden but they look stupid anyway the answer is you you can spend it on cosmetics but like to be honest all you need gold for in this game are rolls that's th like the only thing limited clothes yeah cosmetics basically cosmetics okay let's go to moonshine check and check if uh, the moonshine is ready Cat, I kept my gold for mansion. So did I. I have enough gold uh, on on my two main accounts to buy this. You know, remember this leaked mansion for 600 gold bars? So I guess I, on one account I have 600 gold bars and on the second account I have a little less. Okay, so cooldown is still here. And cooldown is stupid, I repeat. some horses are locked behind the gold as well but that's the thing horses are also uh, cosmetics pretty much in in red dead online okay let's deliver and check how much experience i will receive is it just me or does the night cycle last so much longer than the daytime i think it's just you it's just like you were unlucky with lobbies because uh day cycle actually lasts a little longer in red dead online i'm going to buy halloween pass when it's available in arthur and john's outfits well i mean i still think that arthur and john outfits are a little bit too expensive 
And if you wanna flex, uh, rather buy uh, these uh, Lema revolver variants for bounty hunter role. Oh yeah, that that's the delivery I was talking about. One horn saloon. It's a it's a pretty. Let me actually stop and show you. Pretty long distance delivery and uh, a lot of turns and stuff okay let's turn on auto pilot but actually auto pilot is a little bit risky when you are in the mountains because sometimes you will hit some tree or something with auto pilot for some reason in the mountains, usually. Okay. Go away. Which roll do you think is the most fun to grind? Uh, depends on what you think is fun. Like for me, collector is pretty fun to grind. And it's like by many people considered to be the most boring role for me trader is fun to grind just because i like hunting in red dead online but you know obvious uh, obvious answer to your question would be like ne bounty hunter role and legendary bounties because there some of them are challenging Okay, I'm not gonna stop that wagon. I will have to kill all these agents. Okay, new plan. Don't see where they are. Where are they hiding? Okay. Oh, somewhere here. Oh, I have a long scope on my Carcana after Call to Arms. That's why I don't see them on such distance. Yeah, makes sense. Lasso one. Oh, I forgot to do it. I should have done it, really, because... If, if it still works. Uh, because delivering in this area will be annoying when agents are chasing you hello friend says doc holiday hello there do you think this game will ever get a beat update again like new roles or huge missions well, if there will be next-gen version, then yes. I don't see anything. Okay, now I see. You can avoid the revenue agent by doing different roles. Yes, you can. But, you know, uh, in some areas it's not, like, possible. I mean, it's easier just to kill them, usually. Oh, whoa, 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 I don't see anything. Okay, let's go. Moonshiner roll is like uh, the closest we can get in Red Dead Online to uh, passive income, but you need to level it up first and complete a story. To, to make it a really real passive income 
Oh, oh, oh. I really don't see much and the agents are chasing me. I don't think I will manage to deliver this moonshine without breaking the bottles. Okay, okay, where are you, agent? Show up. Okay, I'm not gonna kill him. I, I will not kill him. Okay, okay, here we have to ride slowly. No, 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 no. Okay, I will kill him. And another one, no, how... How was he even alive? Okay, we good. What? I'm not even saying anything. Okay. Hmm. I mean, it's, uh, I think during this playthrough, it's the first time I was disconnected because of error or something. First time. How is Swiss we? What a luck, says Arthur. Yeah, I mean, uh, it was like 10 seconds to complete the mission. Shahnur says, sorry for laughing, Kat, but that was funny. Yeah, that was, it's like, you know, it was like almost like on purpose someone disconnected me and you know what if i were playing in a public lobby i would I immediately assume that i was disconnected because some cheater just disconnected me just for fun and it happened before on my streams when i was streaming on pc but i'm playing in a private lobby like so and my internet is fine. You see, my internet is working. So it's literally just Rockstar. What is your PC builds? Uh, run so smooth. I don't really remember the CPU, but uh, graphic card is RTX 3070. So, you know, not the best one, but like a few years ago, three years ago, it was a decent one. Caro UK, thank you Caro UK for super sticker, it's a beer that beatboxing, <laughs> it's a beatboxing beer, I, I assume. Skill issue, yeah, definitely. Uh, oh, it's a game dropped the mic, it's more like it's Rockstar dropped the mic, boom. A private lobby, how do you do that? Google uh, Startup Meta Red Dead Online Private Lobby. Startup Meta. Oh, I don't know. There is a private lobby mod on Nexus mods. Use fast travel to get to the Shine Shack. I was... I can't... I don't have a fast travel in my camp yet. And I was, like, really close to the Shack. Oh, actually... It's weird because usually when you disconnect during moonshine delivery, oh, you don't lose it until your wagon, is, unless your wagon is destroyed, right? So, uh oh, start selling mission. So let's try to deliver this uh, moonshine wagon again.
That was an unusual disconnect. I mean, really, uh, do, it's like uh, it's uh, in this series I've made already 15 streams, and it's the first time I was disconnected. Wilderness camp fast travel is OP this month. It always OP. I mean, especially since you know from wilderness camp. Uh, Fast traveling to your like regular camp is always costs one dollar only. Oh no, this delivery again. Bruch. How much FPS do you get in Red Dead Redemption 2? Depends on resolution. Uh, like in 4K. I have like 50 not stable 50 but around 50 and in 2k and uh, if, uh, full HD I, I have 60 still debating on getting wilderness camp is it worth it it's worth it for sure I mean fast travel from wilderness camp is like a, it's a great feature Oh nice, daily challenge for killing wolves and I just decided to kill this wolf uh, to get some additional experience and there is a daily challenge for that what a coincidence okay gentlemen, I'm not gonna kill you when my internet is bad isn't kicking me from the game, but it's when it's good kicks me from some games. Uh, actually, you know what? When your internet is bad in Red Dead Online, usually game is not kicking you, but places you in a private lobby. So, like, uh, creates a lobby without other players, and until your internet gets uh, gets fixed. Okay. This time we will try to tie up one. One of them. Wait! You're gonna regret tying me up. No, I will not. Let's see if it will work. <laughs> yeah. What was your first game? Uh, Prince of Pers Persia. How it's Pers Persia? You know, the Prince of. Persia was the first game I played on a PC. Not like I had a console back then. Okay, now we delivering. My first game was Space Invaders. I played Space Invaders as well later. Prince was the first game I played. Five more levels and a maxing trader roll. Well, with trader roll, 
after level 10 it's more like an achievement because like uh, there is no real difference between level 10 and level 20 but there is a big difference between level 1 and level 10 Cat, does your wife play any games? Yes, she really likes uh, Witcher 3 and uh, Hogwarts Legacy And we, and we kind of have a deal that when uh, there will be a discount on Alan Wake 2, we will buy it and also play it. I don't know, maybe there is already a discount on Alan Wake 2, I mean, it should be. Thoughts on little children playing Red Dead Online? In my opinion, little children should not play Red Dead Online or GTA Online. On the other hand, little children are not asking my opinion on this or any other topics. <laughs> so, I mean, it is what it is. Cat, do you remember the potion, bot potion bottles in Prince of Persia? I barely remember anything about... I just remember that I played it because I was like five years old or something. So yeah, this trick still works. was uh, placing a moonshiner, not moonshiner, but revenue agent on a horse. Okay, I think. Okay, horse, move. Move. Horse. Uh oh. Okay, horse, move. Move. I missed my turn. Do it quick before you got disconnected. Yeah, luckily this time I managed to deliver without being disconnected. But probably it's because revenue agents were not following me. 700 Moonshiner experience. Not bad. Not bad at all. So, I mean, you get like 100 Moonshiner experience for adding... Uh, to making it... To, to add in a flavor and 700 for delivery. Still not the best, you know, not the fastest way to level up. Cat, have you ever jacked anyone else moonshine or had yours stolen? Uh, what do you mean? Moonshine delivery? It cannot be really stolen. It can be destroyed. And it's, it's like a pure griefing. So no, I never did it but a uh, few times it's not like it's something that happens really often but few times my moonshine delivery was destroyed by just random griefers uh, like for no reason at all you see I don't have ingredients for two star receipts so I can only make one star so what do I need uh, winter green berry Canned strawberries, actually. Oh, it's still. It's also one star only. Well, anyway, let's add these flavors. 100 experience is still something. I think you get 100 experience for one star uh, moonshine flavor, 200 for two star, and I guess 300 for three star. And, and still, there is a cooldown. 
Let's complete a bootlegger mission just to see if our moonshine is being produced when we are completing them. Apparently the barricade in the road stopping and searching wagons. Fire's very jumpy. I ain't gonna live in fear of those sons of bitches. There is a pretty long it's not a it's not a cut scene, but you're not getting paid for it. But on the other hand, this mission don't have a payout at all. So this mission is a waste of time. That's something I remember correctly. Take out revenue agents. Okay, I can do that. Oops, wrong button. Oh, and again, we have to ride all across the map for like no reward at all. Karuke says, I used to come home from school and play Sonic on Sega uh, straight through without missing any rings, including in bonus levels every day. That's dedication. I was proud to complete it in 42 minutes after weeks of practice. That's a good result, actually. Hey, cat. Uh, do you get grift stream sniped till now at this uh, 0 to 100 project? No, because I'm playing on PC in a private lobby. That's the reason why I'm playing on PC. To not get stream sniped. Because, you know, when I play, like, my... When I do my usual streams on Xbox, I don't really care about stream snipers too much. I just ignore them. Uh, but, like, you cannot ignore stream snipers when you're leveling up. That's it, and it's not cool. I like the Carcano rifle, but I don't like the scope, sadly. Well, the scope is, like, the best thing about Carcano rifle. Oh, can I kill them in stealth? I can try. No, I, I don't think I can. Yeah, because they just stay too close to each other. Whoops. Where is he? At least for looting them I will receive... Uh, maybe will receive some ingredients. We will see now. Will a Rockstar add no scope rifle? There are no sco oh sniper rifle, like a buffalo rifle. That actually that would be cool, in my opinion, but probably a little bit unbalanced. On the other hand, the Rockstar don't care about being unbalanced at all. Uh, that's why, you know, Kerkan rifle was never nerfed. And by sniper, scoped, sni unscoped sniper rifle, what I mean is uh, like a regular rifle. You just aim like this. Uh, but you cannot use painted black. But it gets all the bonuses and auto aim, obviously. But it gets all, all the bonuses of a sniper rifle. So no damage reduction with distance, accuracy. That would be cool. But again, it probably will be a little bit unbalanced, especially on PC. On the other hand, who cares about balance on PC if everyone in PvP plays with mod menus anyway? Not everyone, but there are a lot of such players, so like... PvP is unplayable on PC. Dun, 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 dun. 
platoon. I, I want to see how much experience I will receive for this mission. Trader role experience. Because, I mean, if trader role experience is also not exp impressive, then I see no reason in completing these missions at all. I mean, $20 for decreasing the match price is, is nothing. The last one. And let's take a look at uh, the experience. Three hundred experience. Well, you know what? Three hundred is nice. Actually, three hundred is nice because uh, it's a good way to level up. Uh, moonshiner yeah you don't get much money but you can find some uh, can, some ingredients by the way let's go and get some berries or something Oh, I need to set up another moonshine production. Let's go and set up moonshine production. And while it will be making moonshine, we'll go and... Oh, wait, wait. I already have moonshine production. <laughs> so let's go and come collect some berries. Since we are in the woods anyway. Tuffy the cat says, just sold all my collectibles, I'm rank 59, which means I'm slowly catching up to cat. This is my second character. Well, it will be, you know, a shame to see next month a bonus on the collector roll. On the other hand, oh, that, that was stylish. Uh, on the other hand, I mean, uh, until the next month you can get more collectibles. So, don't worry. Trying to find some ingredients for Moonshiner. Cat just made a poll. Which one? What is this? Oh, it's a this random encounter to search the homestead for a valuables and pay out here is, is, is a joke. Oh, just made a poll. Okay, not, not just make a poll, but made. Yeah, now, now I get it. Okay, I will ignore this uh, random encounter. But you know what? I, I do need to make a poll. There are always polls. Oh, oh nice! I found, I find, I found golden current. And I even had some question I wanted to ask, but as always, I'm just forgetting about all the questions that I want to ask on the stream when the stream begins. I should like write them down or something. 
We'll get some ingredients for uh, moonshine production, like different. How many hours do you have in Red Dead Redemption 2? A lot. Try to practice shooting from the horse and failed. <laughs> make a poll about should you make a poll. Start the poll. Should should I make a poll? Democracy. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good one but the problem is if uh, like uh, people will choose yes like what w uh, what will I make a poll about it's not answering to the question what this poll should be about oh nice I found another berries maybe that's no it's raspberry Zo says, uh, hi there, I started playing Red Dead Online yesterday, should I start as collector or bounty hunter? Up to you, up to you. I mean, if you already have enough gold bars, maybe buy bounty hunter, because probably next, next month there will be a discount on a collector. And, oh, I hit, I hit the tree. And, uh, like, by that time you will earn enough gold to buy it anyway. Just, you know, a little bit of a shooting practice. Okay, do we have some? We have mint. I think I have maximum amount. No, I, I still can. Actually, Angry Aussie makes a good point. If result is yes, well, you already completed it. Exactly, because there was a poll. I just did it. And if result is no, I also completed it. I will just not make a poll and will say, well, as you, as you choose. As you wish. No poll. And, 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 and. By the way, for killing each alligator with free aim, you get 30 experience points. Not even 30, but 35. 15 for the kill and 20 for free aim. We need one more poll. Should I make another poll? Well, you know what? When this poll will be over, if uh, the answer will be yes, maybe I will remember like what I was planning to make a poll about. Where are all these berries? Oh, here we are. Here they are. Poll for head or no head. Put on the head, bro. You can lead you can leave your hat on. I mean, I really had an idea. What should I make a poll about? I even wanted to make this poll on a community page. But then I thought like, okay, I will make it on a, on a stream first. And forgot. Well, it happens. Hmm. I, I just picked some berries. I guess it will be enough for, for like the first time. Uh, close to Moonshine Shack here you can find... It's not a Moonshine Shack. Uh, but close to the Moonshine Shack in Bayou Noir you can find some berries as well. 
Paul for GTA 6. It's not the one what I was thinking about, but yes, I will make a poll for GTA 6. Oh, Harriet is here, nice. Talking to squirrels. Okay, so apparently result is yes, make a poll. And now poll will be about GTA 6. When GTA 6... When will get this here? GTA 6 be released <clears throat> January to March 2025, April to September. September to December 2025, like your prediction, 2026 plus. When, uh, because there are a lot of debates like around uh, GTA 6 release date right now, a lot of people say that uh, like you know insiders claim that it was delayed to 2026 i'm not quite sure if it's if it's true i mean i would not be surprised but still i don't think on which mission i am oh no this mission is still here well that's annoying let's switch lobby i didn't want to complete this mission Let's just switch lobby. I, I wanted to travel to camp anyway, because maybe I have a long distance delivery available. Do you ever play a part from when you make an, uh, content? Yes. And a lot. Sometimes I make content out of that. <laughs> you know, I record some stuff like uh, that happened. I don't even know why everyone thought, like initially, why everyone thought that is gonna be like early 2025, I forgot, but uh, it looked like um, at some point it was like almost a common knowledge that GTA 6 will be released in early 2025, maybe even like uh, first quarter, uh, quarter, quarter, um, but then this changed okay so nice need to make a long distance delivery but you know what i'm not gonna make a long distance delivery i start a short distance delivery because long distance deliveries are super annoying i would rather earn these 100 dollars some other way or even better question do you think we will get trailer 2 for gta 6 before june summer time I actually think yes, we will. But again, it's uh, it's a prediction based on nothing. Where am I even delivering? Oh well, at least it's a it's a fast delivery. Uh, Shih Tzu says, Sir, I want to ask about what kind of horse is good between Norfolk and Missouri Fox Trotter. I actually like how Missouri Fox Trotter looks, so I will choose that. But uh, the thing is, in Red Dead Online, the difference between horses is not significant. Just make sure that you get a good saddle like Nacogdoches and uh, best steer wraps. You will be fine. So just pick the one you like how looks. And for me it will be Missouri Fox Trotter if choosing between these two. But I personally prefer uh, Turkoman, Shire. Oh, 
hopefully after this delivery I will go back to Moonshine uh, Shack and there will be no cooldown on a story mission anymore. Because like I wanted to actually complete story missions on this stream. This stupid cooldown is just like why rocks are uh, adding cooldown cooldowns to unnecessary things. Like Call to arms. Why do you have a cooldown on call to arms? Moonshiner story. What is the point of that cooldown? And here we go. Long delivery will have you start in Annensburg and end in gap to fringe something yeah it's like usually it's like 15 minutes delivery not necessarily worth it love uh, how these uh, kills with the bow work on PC. I don't even need to make them usually because I already leveled up my health bar. I think I even completed all the awards related to the bow. Actually, not all, but the one with the headshot. Shoot! Nice. I saw Andrew Levitt's GTA 6 trailer in real life today, not as good as his Red Dead in real life video. Well, I don't know. I haven't seen it, but I will make an assumption that maybe it's because there is not that much of a difference between GTA 6 and real life at this point. Because, you know, Red Dead Redemption looks gorgeous, but you know that it's a game. It's not photorealistic. And uh, GTA 6 is also not photorealistic, but getting really close in some cutscenes. Oh nice, I leveled up Trader Roll to rank 14 now. What's the fastest way to level up Dead Eye? The fastest one is to make headshots with Dead Eye active. With Painted Black basically. Okay, let's go to Roads and from there just fast travel to Moonshine Shack. And hopefully, just hopefully, cooldown will be over. I mean, it should be. You should definitely watch Red Dead once, though. I, I, I've i seen Red Dead once. I've seen that video about Red Dead Redemption 2. I haven't seen about GTA 6. Yeah, the, that, that one was pretty impressive. I mean, I knew that, uh, the, uh, like, St. Denis based on New Orleans and uh, all locations are based on some real places. Not all, but most of them. But uh, they so similar. How do you get free aim experience on PC? Oh, here is a trick. You need to go to settings choose controller settings even if you don't have a controller and change uh lock on mode to free aim there <laughs> so <laughs> like it's so weird 
Even if you don't have controller, you don't use controller, you still have to change that setting to start receiving, uh, you know, free aim experience when you're playing with mouse and the keyboard. What color of Turkoman looks good, in your opinion? Chestnut. And black one also looks good. I don't know, black Turkoman and chestnut Turkoman, in, in my opinion, are the best looking, and the gray is on the first, on the third place. <coughs> okay, let, let's see if cooldown is over. This, yeah, nice. Okay, this time I will start a cooldown, not a cooldown, but a timer. Let's see uh, the payout. Ah, uh, for stop. Good stuff. Stop. Show you on the map. It should make short work My cat it. is moving camera. Plenty of roots in there, and you could hijack their supply wagon. You could even go by river. I'll leave that to you. It's time to hit them hard. I'm sorry. Where it hurts. Okay, time to stop the timer. Oh, remember this mission. It's like also, like should be completed in stealth, but the problem is I don't think if you can complete the second part of this mission without breaking stealth. Yeah, S stream sniper cat. Like the first part you can complete in stealth. I'm not sure if it's necessary, but it's possible. Okay, so Maggie. Oh, now I see the trail. For some reason, I was. I haven't seen it. Is uh, this dude alone? Good. Okay, apparently it's not... It's not where explosives are. Why you switch to the long scope on your Kirkana? Because I was doing call to arms. I switched uh, for call to arms. Okay, here here is a new clue. Okay. 
why this trail okay th so they are going to the direction where i initially came from okay they are get okay probably here yeah nice i guess i found it got the explosives by the way these explosives uh, they have a unique icon it's not used anywhere else in red dead online they made this icon only for this mission i can show it to you now look explosives A wagon carrying moonshine is ingredients is on its way to the camp. I never actually tried uh, to get to the camp uh, in this wagon. sure why these boards are here does someone have an idea how can i get six gold fast well try to go and explode fish maybe some other easier words Well, enemies stay just too close to each other, so there is no way I can kill them in stealth. Like, I can kill some of them in stealth, but... Oh, nice. So, it was uh, another reset. Well, I can try to kill them both in stealth without breaking it. Let's try it. Because there are two of them, I can actually do it. nice we're still in stealth but here we have like three different anim enemies oh I oh no 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 oh they're not that close to each other oh you know what i can Kill them all without breaking stealth. Interesting. Not sure if it's worth it though, because... Uh, I just could have killed them with sniper rifle or something. But it's kind of cool.
<laughs> I just like stealth in this game sometimes. What? What? What is this? Oh no, it's chasing me. <laughs> Run. What was that? Have you seen it? And apparently this purple uh, cloud broke stealth. That was really weird. It's a, sw a swamp ghost. Maybe no one ever tried to complete this mission in stealth before. Oh, no, 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 no. He's running away. Not so fast. Where do I have this? Where do I have this item? Explosives. Oh, I, I don't have an extra. Okay. Run! Uh, Captain Neo says, it is a graphic glitch, I guess just happens on PC, it happens to me sometimes, but Black Cloud. The first time I've seen it. Like, I played on PC quite a lot, but like, maybe it's something relatively new. Uh, because back in the day when I used to play on PC, there was no such thing. Chris says, how are you? I am new. I, I am, I am good. Thank you. Welcome. Okay, so... There is a second camp, by the way. I think uh, there is an al alarm already, so I'm not sure if I do need to try to get then kill anyone in stealth maybe i just should go and kill anyone with sniper rifle okay actually you know what it's n n alarm no alarm there yet they don't they don't see me i'm like john cena not sure if I can make such shot through the tree. Yes, I can. Well, that's not really stealthy. My horse is following me. I need to get some help. Uh, Arthur, stop. Stop. Am I gonna break stealth with dynamite? Like, do, will they know where I am? Yes, immediately. So stupid. Like, how do they know who made this explosion? I don't see anything. We 
Okay, so it's been 13 minutes in this mission. I think to receive a high payout that will like loot everybody. Uh oh, can I loot a burning body? Apparently, yes, I can. Okay, so I guess I need to make one more explosion. But I, oh, here we go. Is this true they are banning people who use Lake Isabella glitch? No, they don't. They banned uh, some random players a few months ago, but then they removed bans. Not even people who were using Isabella glitch, just random players for nothing. They don't really ban anyone nowadays. It, it doesn't mean that they will not ban, uh, but just, you know, right now they don't do. Well, this mission is kind of fun, but I wish it was possible to complete it in stealth. So anyway, return to your moonshine shack. It's, it's been already 15 minutes in this mission, so... But as well, let's take a look if I will receive gold. 1423 I have. Fourteen gold bars and twenty-three golden nuggets. Let's see if there will be gold payout this time. For fifteen minutes mission. Okay. Now there should be a cutscene, I I assume. Because if there are a lot of cutscenes in Moonshine or Story. Oh no, not this time. Oh, there is a cutscene. Made in one piece. So yes. We're good then. We good then. Excellent. Just had a clear I talk message. like for my character. So you've earned yourself a drink. For sure. Thought I'd find you here. What the hell you think you're playing at? It's all right. That was a real dumb move. That was what not. What you talking about? I thought I warned you. You know, all them years, I never realized just how much a coward you really are. You go to hell, Maggie. Well, I already have. Let me tell you. You will like it. Look at these bastards, Danny. Lee. You think I'd give a single damn about you? I mean, who's this sap? Bartholomew Braithwaite. Yeah, I know who you are. Oh, your family's running moonshine now, huh? How the mighty have fallen. You're finished. Stay finished. Oh, I swear, next time, you'll burn for good. You know, next time you should send someone more intimidating. Don't you worry about that. Come on. Thanks for stopping by, fellas. Oh, yeah, cutscenes are start. unskippable. Come on, let's have that drink. And actually, it was not always like that. Uh, yeah, for so three hundred experience, which is nothing. Twenty dollars. Are you kidding me? Where? Oh, so I received the gold payout. Yeah, take a look. I, I have more gold than I had. So, uh, I received 36 gold bars. Not gold, 36 gold bars, but 0 0.36 gold bar. Which is typical for 15 minutes mission. I'm not quite sure how much money I had. But I guess I received some more money as well. So, yeah, it, it has a gold payout and uh, gives some additional... Uh, Moonshine roll experience is just not showing how much for some reason. Let's check your progress. 
Am I level 3 yet? No, only level 2. And um, let's take a look how production is going. Still not ready to deliver. So let's take a look at your predictions about GTA 6 release date. So only 17% actually believe that it's going to be released in early 2025. 19% believe, not much more by the way, that it will be released in, uh, mi you know, in the middle of the year. 25% believe that it's 2026, that it was delayed. It's a surprisingly high number. Uh, and uh, most people think that it's going to be released during this end of 2025, probably in November, or maybe even December, who knows. Well, interesting, interesting. I also, I, I actually can agree that most likely it will be released in uh, late 2025, but we will see. Randy Page says, hello everyone, I cannot stay because my husband is sick, catch you all next time. Uh, best wishes for your husband, like, to get well soon. Hope he will get well soon. Monkey says, I wish GTA 6 was out right now. And yeah, and Red Dead Redemption 3 as well. And, and all that stuff. Anyway guys, I need to go and prepare for the football match. So, uh, see you next time on Friday, there will be a stream, and on Sunday, there will be a stream. So, see you next time. Thanks to everyone who joined today. Thanks to everyone who placed a like. And, uh, as always, thanks to all my... Oh, and Moonshine is ready. Okay, I will deliver it on the next stream. So, yeah, stay safe, stay healthy, and see you next time.